So you're trying to get a visa to come and live in the United Kingdom permanently. Why does it matter if these two British actors won Oscars or not? I didn't bloody know that. I don't even know who half of these people are. <laughs> Hello folks and how are you doing and welcome to my vlog. My name is Sean, a YouTuber from Edinburgh in Scotland. In today's episode of the vlog, I'm going to be doing the life in the UK test. Please don't forget guys to hit the big red subscribe button to my channel and hit that notification bell. It would really help me out and it would be great so you guys can all keep in touch with all my content from now on. If you want to come and live in the United Kingdom and you're not from one of the European Union countries, you need to pass the life in the UK test. It is a British citizenship test and it is a list of questions that anybody who is interested in the United Kingdom and who wants to actually live here and take up residence should know. And presumably, a list of questions that everybody who's actually from here should also know. So I thought it'd be an interesting episode of this Scottish guy trying to sit the British citizenship test to see whether I'm actually worthy of living in this country in the first place or not. Should be easy enough, right? Let's give it a wee go. Right, so here we go, got my laptop. Let's get this show on the road. I'm apprehensive. Okay, so here we go. The test consists of 24 questions and you need to answer at least 18 correctly to be eligible to pass the test and get your visa to live in the United Kingdom as a permanent citizen. If you don't pass, you do not get your citizenship. You're out of here, basically. It is a multiple choice test, by the way. They give you the answers. I'm gonna read these out as I go along. Question one, which flag has a white cross on a blue background? Oh, come on, this is too easy. This is made for me. It's obviously Scotland. What is the capital of England? These sound really easy. When is St. David's Day? Oh, things are heating up a wee bit. St. David's Day, 3rd of April, 17th of March, 1st of March, 30th of November, 23rd of April? No, it's 1st of March. Okay, question four. What did the Chartists campaign for? What the hell are the Chartists? The possible answers are the right to vote for 18 year olds, the right to vote for women, the right to vote for the working class, the right to vote for 21 year olds. Okay, so the first two questions of this test were obviously set up to lull me into a false sense of security because things are getting a bit harder. I'm gonna say this one is actually the right to vote for the working class. I've got that right. Who was the first Briton to win the Olympic gold medal in the 10,000 meter race? Not Mo Farah, not Bradley Wiggins, David Weir, Chris Hoy. I think I know the answer, I think it's David Weir. Mo Farah, wow, that was really recent. Like, Mo Farah has done so much. But Mo Farah is a recent phenomenon. Bloody hell, I'm not doing so well here, folks. What created the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland? The Act of Union, the Great Governments, the Great Union, or the Act of Governments? I think I talked about this in a vlog the other day, about Scotland and Scottish facts. Oh yeah, thank goodness I got that right. The UK government hasn't used the power to suspend the Northern Ireland Assembly. I'm gonna say that's false. I'm gonna say they have actually used that power. But that was a guess, guys, and I got that right. Question eight, which of these is a famous classical music event in the UK? First one, it says, Tea in the Park. Absolutely not Tea in the Park. Tea in the Park is a Scottish festival. There is nothing classical about it, let me tell you. Proms, Creamfields, it's not Creamfields, and it's not the last one, Glastonbury. This answer for me is going to be quite easy simply because power of deduction. It can be Tina Park and it can be Creamfields and it can be Glastonbury because those are all not classical music festivals. It has to be the proms, which is of course right. Which charity works to preserve important buildings? A, the Red Cross, B, the NSPCC, C, the National Trust, and D, Age UK. So I know all of these charities. The National Trust, yes. I'm right. Number 10, when did the first Christian communities appear in Britain? I'm gonna say the second and third centuries. I'm wrong, it was the third and fourth centuries. Question 11, which of the following is part of the UK? Wales, St. Helena, Canada, or Channel Islands? Obvious, is Wales, right? But I would also have said the Channel Islands is part of um, the UK as well. Channel Islands, is that an independent state? Which two British film actors have recently won Oscars? Colin Firth, Leonardo DiCaprio, Tilda Swinton or Jackie Stewart? Who's Tilda Swinton? I only know, I know Colin Firth. I am wrong. It is Tilda Swinton and Colin Firth. Wait a minute, right? So you're trying to get a visa to come and live in the United Kingdom permanently. Why does it matter if these two British actors won Oscars or not? I didn't bloody know that. I don't even know who half of these people are. Question 13, what is not a fundamental principle of British life? What a wanky question. Oh, this is a ridiculous, please, this is in the test. Looking after yourself and family, driving a car, looking after the environment, treating others with fairness. And it is wrong, what? Hello darkness, my old friend. I misread the question. Can I do that again? It says, what is not 
a fundamental part principle. But in any case, if I was sitting the exam, I would have read it wrong and I would have chosen wrong anyway. So that has to go down as an error on my part and part of the test. So question 14, where is the cenotaph located? Is it A, Trafalgar Square, Dorset, Whitehall or Wiltshire? I don't know the answer. I'm going to click on Trafalgar Square and I'm wrong. It's Whitehall for goodness sake. Which two are British overseas territories? Question 15, the Falkland Islands, Ireland, St. Helena, Hawaii. Falkland Islands is one, second, St. Helena. Got that right. Which flower is associated with England? The shamrock, the daffodil, the rose, or the thistle? I know that's the rose. I'm gonna tick rose, and it's of course right. Question 17. Who built the Tower of London? I'm gonna say it was Henry VIII, and I'm wrong, it was William the Conqueror that built the Tower. I would not know this. Why would people from other parts of the world that is not Europe or not the UK need to know this or know this. Why would they get this right? Because I bloody didn't. Roast beef is a traditional food of which country? I'm going to click England because I know that's the answer that they want, right? And of course it's right. Roast beef, is that traditionally English? Or is that more like, because we eat roast beef here in Scotland. I'm pretty sure in Northern Ireland and Wales, they also eat roast beef traditionally. Question 19, who appoints life peers? The speaker, the shadow cabinet, the prime minister, the monarch. Prime Minister because the Queen doesn't get involved in politics. I'm wrong, it was the monarch, it is the Queen. Wow. Question 20, what palace was the cast iron and plate glass building originally erected in the Hyde Park, London, England to house the great exhibition of 1851? I don't bloody know. I'm gonna click on the Crystal Palace. The other options are the Dream Palace, the Great Palace, Crystal Palace and the Gold Palace. I'm gonna click Crystal Palace because that just seems right. And I'm right. Well, thank goodness for that. Where was Robert Burns from? Thank you. Finally, a question I can get. Robert Burns was from Scotland. He is, of course, one of our national heroes. Everybody in the world should know that. Question 22. Which of these UK landmarks is in Wales? One, the Giant's Causeway. Two, Loch Lomond, that's in Scotland. Three, the Lake District. Or four, Snowdonia. I know it's Snowdonia because I've been to Wales and Wales is a lovely wee place. Question 23, who is Queen Elizabeth II married to? This is obvious, Prince Philip. Question 24 of 24, we've reached the last one. Come on for the win. When is Christmas Eve? I'm not even gonna tell you the options, it's 24th of December, that is like a piece of cake. I failed. I answered 16 of 24 correctly. That is a pass mark of 66.67%. I did it in 13 minutes and 48. You have 45 minutes to sit this test, but um, I failed the British citizenship test. So if a British born and a British educated subject, if you like, can he pass this test? What hope is there from someone from another continent? Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm stupid, right? I think I need to um, bring somebody else into this. What's your name and where'd you come from? My name is Justine and I come from Edinburgh. Justine is actually my sister. She's gonna try and sit this test as well. But first of all, Justine has launched a new YouTube channel. I have, you can subscribe to me at, what's my account called? In the link down below. Yeah, link down below. So I intend to vlog about my Crohn's story. I've just been diagnosed. So I want to raise a little bit of more awareness on that. Cool, and other adventures and as other well. Other adventures. So go and subscribe to Justine if you haven't, thank you. You're gonna sit the Life in the UK test as well. You were born and educated here. Apparently, this is like things every British person should know. Okay, we are ready to go, Justine. Are you ready for this? No. <laughs> what was the population of the UK in 1901? I don't even know what it is now. I'm guessing it's like 60 million now. Yeah, 60 million now. So, 40 million? That would be a good guess, I would say that. You're right. Question two, who was Henry Purcell? I'm gonna say a poet. The options are musician, actor, poet, or gardener. You're gonna say poet. You're wrong, he was a musician. <laughs> 1659 to 95 was an organist in the Westminster Abbey. I'm sorry, but why would anybody know an organist from the 1600s? Question three, what does a TV license money pay for? One, the BBC, two, all three radio channels, electricity or free view channels. Okay, I think I know this one, it's the BBC. <laughs> BBC. Next one, who invented the World Wide Web? James Goodfellow, Sir Tim Berners-Lee, Alexander Fleming or Florence Nightingale? I actually know the answer to this. I don't know the answers to this, but Alexander Fleming, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> Justine, did you really say that? <laughs> I talk Justine doesn't watch my vlogs because I said this in a vlog. My last video, I said what Alexander Fleming invented and it wasn't the bloody internet. <laughs> Justine doesn't watch my vlogs. It's Sir Tim Berners-Lee. Where did the people of the Bronze Age bury their dead? 
Round burrows, graveyards, coffin houses, or gardens. Tick tock, tick tock. There's no phone a friend in this. <laughs> coffin houses? You're wrong. Brown burrows. Brown barrows. The hell is that? What is known as Lent? The 40 days before Easter, the 40 days after Easter, the 40 days before Christmas, or the 40 days after Christmas? 40 days before Easter. Probably wrong. Oh, You're right. right. What must the police officer tell you if you get arrested to follow his instructions? <laughs> the reasons for your arrest? To put your arms in the air or to ask about your background? The reason for your arrest. Let's hope so. You're right. Who became Prime Minister during World War II? Was it Robert? Walpole, Margaret Thatcher, Winston Churchill, or Tony Blair? Winston Churchill. Yeah, we all know that. I know that. <laughs> Who mapped the coast of Australia? And it's Australians that are ones that are going to have to get the bloody visa in the first place to come and live in the UK. I know this only because I was just in Australia. James Cook? You're right. What is a system that automatically deducts tax called? Is it PAYG? Is it PAYE? Is it HMRC? Or is it self-assessment? I think I know this one. HMRC. You're wrong, it's PAYE. When did people learn how to make bronze? Was it 6,000 years ago? Was it 4,000 years ago? Was it 10,000 years ago? Or was it 8,000 years ago? How is anyone meant to know this? <laughs> 10,000 years ago? That's a guess. You're wrong, it's 4,000 apparently. Where in Scotland is known as the home of golf? You should know this. Aberdeen, Edinburgh, St Andrews or Glasgow? I know this one, St Andrews. That's easy. When do pubs usually open? 4pm, 1pm, 11am or 10pm? I don't know. What, like? Which pub? All pubs are different, are they not? 11am. 11am. You guessed right, you guessed I right. Guessed. <laughs> Hadrian's Wall is a popular UNESCO World Heritage Site, true or false? True. True. It is the wall, Hadrian, the Roman Emperor. Emperor? Was an Emperor? The Romans, to keep the Scottish people out of England. Basically, the Romans had made it that far north. They were feared. What is the Church of England known as in Scotland and the USA? Is it the State Church? Episcopal? Episcopal? The Episcopal Church? What is that? The Episcopal Church? The Anglican Church or the Catholic Church? I don't know. I don't go to church. The Episcopal, the one I can't say, the Episcopal. I don't Episcopal. know what that is. I don't know either. Why would people need to know? Like, I just, come on. Where does the Prime Minister reside? I'm not even gonna give you the options. 10 Downing Street, come on, next. How long did the Romans stay in Britain? 400 years, 600 years, 300 years, or 100 years? 100, 300. You're wrong, 400 years, I don't know either. What do you need to apply for UK citizenship? <laughs> You, do you need to have a university degree? Do you need to speak and read English? Do you need to be able to use computers in English? Or do you need a driving license? Probably speak and read English. There you go, you're right. Sense. Number 19, what is the monarch's ceremonial role? Is it going abroad, opening a parliament session? Is it making parliamentary policies? Or is it traveling in the UK? Making parliamentary policies. Nope, opening a parliament session. That's how much we know. All, all the royal I family stuff we basically get wrong. What is the money limit for small claims procedures in England and Wales. Is it six thousand pounds, five thousand pounds, ten thousand or four thousand pounds? This is another guess, ten thousand. I don't know. You got it right, yeah. What did the Bill of Rights confirm? Is it Parliament's increased power? Kings can collect taxes? Is it King's increased power? Or is it Kings can administer justice? I have no clue what the Bill of Rights is. Collect taxes? Kings can collect taxes. You're wrong. Parliament's increased power. Where does the fringe take place, Justine? If you get this wrong, I'm, I'm not, not even Scottish. speaking to you anymore. <laughs> you need to get off my channel right now if you get this wrong. Obviously Edinburgh. <laughs> How old is Big Ben? 150 years, 200 years, 170 years or 220 years? 220. You're wrong, it's 150 years old. Last question. Who won gold medals in rowing in five consecutive Olympic Games? Sir Chris Hoy, Dame Ellen MacArthur, Sir Roger Bannister or Sir Steve Redgrave? Dame Ellen MacArthur? Sir Steve Redgrave, that was your last question and your score results are pretty poor. 10% <laughs> less than me. You answered 13 out of 24 correctly. You are not getting access to this country. You're not getting a visa. You're banned. You might as well just pack your bags and leave. I'm getting kicked out. That was interesting. That was. Thank you very much, Justine, for participating. Everybody go and subscribe to Justine, and when I click my finger, she's gonna vanish. So there we have it. Two Scottish people, albeit from the same family, can he pass the Life in the UK test? The Life in the UK test is a test that everybody who is an immigrant to this country who is not from the EU needs to pass if they want to stay here permanently. I should mention my wife passed this test first time so she could get her visa. My dad passed this test because he is not from the EU countries to get his British visa. My godfather passed this test so he could stay in the UK. Three of my family members all passed this test first time around and are all British citizens thanks to this test. 
um, but I think it's absolutely absurd and ridiculous and really difficult. I will put a link down below to the test so you guys can take it yourselves. I want to know what your scores were. Would you be eligible to get in the UK or not? Let me know. That was a fun experiment. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you being here. This was fun. Let's do more videos like this. Special thanks to all those who support me on Patreon. Without their help, I would not be able to keep this channel running. You can sign up as a Patreon member of mine from $1 a month. Don't forget also to keep in touch with all of my social media channel outlets at Sean Vlog. And as well, I've launched a podcast. Did you know about my podcast? The link is somewhere right now. I have a podcast on YouTube and on Anchor and on iTunes. It is branded Seancast. Please go and check it out. Hopefully you've subscribed and subscribed to Justine, my little sister as well. And I hope you have a wonderful evening, night, morning, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Take care. This Scottish guy sitting in this British citizen, citizen ship. Damn it. Mm -hmm.